What's going on everybody, Droll Kyle Mania here, and welcome back to another episode of Mashup Madness. Today we're doing the Steampunk, the Steampunk Texture Pack that uh, just came out yesterday. It's a pretty awesome texture pack, although like many other texture packs, it kind of like changes a lot of your builds. So today we're going to be taking a look at my Colonial House, which... Um, definitely doesn't look good in the texture pack, but I've seen a lot worse. I just figured I'd tour this one because it was my latest one. Also, if you guys want to, um, check it out, I'll put, like, an annotation in the first minute of the video. So if you want to, like, or actually I'll put one at the end of the video so you could click it at the end and that'll take you to this house. Um, alright, so, yeah, as you can see, uh. We got some, like, submarine windows. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I do like this texture pack. It's just that it's definitely not the best for what's already been built. But uh, let's go take a look inside. First, we'll take a look at the tree car. Um, yep. <laughs> I like how the, um, like, some some of the wood, I think this is spruce wood. Like, it, it's got gears on it, which is kind of cool. But... Then you like look over here and you got a tree with gears in it. It's a little weird, but uh, let's get started. These are pumpkins, by the way. I don't, I had these out for a video that will be going up on the channel tomorrow, but we actually didn't even use those. So look forward for that video. It's hilarious. I think you guys will really like it, but uh, let's take a look at the inside. First thing I want to say is bricks are not half bad. I actually like them. And on the contrary to what Kevin said, I actually really like what spruce wood looks like. But, I don't know. I think it looks pretty good for a floor. But, um, this carpet's a little weird. I think this is, a uh, dark gray and white wool or something. Uh, dark gray is definitely not too good. It's like this metal plating. Let's just take a look at this closet. However, quartz is pretty cool. Uh, all of the quartz I like. Uh, so... This one's a little, this is actually pillared is probably my least favorite, but I still like it. Uh, let's, we got a gear for my computer screen now. <laughs> um, it's kind of cool how, like, the picture's like, I don't know, like how it, it's, it's weird, but it looks kind of cool. It's definitely an awesome design, and it would work out awesome for some steampunk builds. These are kind of cool because, um... They look like those old-fashioned things uh, that you would play music out of. I forgot what they're called, but like you'd spin it and it'd start playing music. Uh, but let's go to the other side of the house. The bathroom, not too bad. The white wool is... This is actually really cool for white wool. It's just that um, it does not look good here. Like That looks pretty weird. Uh, chests are very interesting. Uh, glowstone, or, I think, uh, no, that's not glowstone, that's, uh, redstone lamps. Glowstone and redstone lamps, I believe, look pretty good, so. I haven't seen every block, uh, so I can't, like, say I know everything about the texture pack, but I, I looked around, this is actually my first time seeing it, and, yeah, scenario doesn't look bad. Black wool is a little weird, along with the gray wool, as you can see, but, you know. And I don't, I think this might be bedrock. Oh, no, 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 this is cobblestone. This is cobblestone. I'm sorry. And my car is getting some work done because that's why I'm using the tree car out there. Um, yeah. Like I said, if you guys want to see this uh, house in the, um, like, natural texture pack, it looks a lot better. So go check out that if you want. Uh, here's the dining room table. We're eating off some dirty-looking metal, but that's all right. Um, the kitchen is actually not that bad. Like, it's not too changed. I mean, again, with the black wool, but hey, that's not too bad. And I, I actually like the chest, so just maybe not, like, they're more of a, they look like something you'd find in, like, a really nice mansion, like, behind the, in front of the bed, I mean. Uh, let's go upstairs. Um, the snow is a little overwhelming. 
Like, it's not a bad block, it's just a little overwhelming the way the colors are. And look at what happened to my lighting design. This used to be an end stone um, thing, or whatever those things are, those um, ender portal frames. And the light actually s shines through it, and it looks really good in, like, natural texture pack. But now we got, like, a bones in my ceiling. I mean, again, we're... These are awesome doors. <laughs> I'm actually, after this video, uh, well, after this, I'm going to fly over to um an actual steampunk build we have in the house. Here's the attic. Attic doesn't look that bad, I guess. Um, Just a basic bedroom. I really like red carpet. Like, look at that. That looks like a really nice bed. Like, it looks like uh, velvet or something. It's really cool. And then even even the white um no 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 I think this is light gray maybe that looks pretty good too so and closet looking pretty cool if um gray <laughs> look look at the pictures I got like a like I don't even know like a lab going on here um this bathroom didn't turn out too bad um the shower actually looks all right I guess like it looks like it could be a shower design and then the rest I'm not a big fan of cauldrons I don't like the red too much but I guess it could work in an actual um steampunk style and toilet it's not bad let's go check out Swage's quarters this is uh where Swage all started Swage's looking good um Oh my god, that, that that looks so cool. He's like a pilot. That's awesome. Um, yeah, this room doesn't look that bad, I guess. Except for the snow. The snow is overwhelming, like I said. Uh, that's a closet. Don't like this. How, like, the white wool. I, I, I really like this because it's an awesome design. The tiling. I just don't like the block that it was picked for, I guess. But I guess it makes up for it with like white or light gray wool. Um, this bathroom. The bathrooms look pretty good. And this this is actually wool. It actually looks like water too. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go out to the backyard and check out the uh, backyard. <laughs> this is going to be interesting because I have a mowed lawn but... It was in natural texture pack of his mode, and now we have this grass that is mode. So, uh, this is the result. We got some, like, green boxes on my lawn. Um, for the most part, not too bad if you ignore the lawn, I guess. Got a lawnmower. That's a little. The wheels are definitely pretty different, because those are black in, um, in natural, and like every other texture pack, those are wither skeleton skulls right there. Uh, jungle wood. Not bad. Pretty cool, actually. This, uh, this pool looks pretty cool. Let's look at the beds. Eh. I mean, definitely wouldn't use it for an umbrella design now. I mean, it's not half bad, though. Like, it, it looks like, I don't know. A lot of the, like, wools look like rich colors. I don't know, but it's cool. And the fire pit. Fire's got an interesting texture. Kind of reminds me of, um... One of those, like... Um, fires that you see in, like, Halloween decorations. Um, and it, it's like, the air is blowing it up, and it's, like, orange. It, it looks it reminds me of that. And river looks pretty cool. There's, um... Uh, Generation Estate, Kevin's Exotic House, and some other stuff taking place over there. Um... Yeah, this, this looks pretty cool. Um, Alright, so that's what the house looks like. So I'm going to go fly over to the um, steampunk style house and show you what an, a steampunk style build looks like in the steampunk texture pack. Like, this was built before steampunk, so, you know, it's not going to look that great. But if there was modifications made, it probably would look amazing. So this is a steampunk style house right here. Got like the flying airships, these like mechanical things flying around the house. 
and I'm not gonna lie it even though some of the blocks are weird it still looks pretty good like if there was some slight alterations this could still look really really cool so by the way this house was built by Neil um, so credit goes to him for building this awesome house but yeah I think that's about it for this episode everybody uh, remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed eat a banana look at that sunset and look at that moon rise but yeah I hope everybody enjoyed and uh, we'll talk to you in the next one and also don't forget to check out tomorrow's video. It's going to be a good one. All right. See you later, everybody.